Hello everybody, this is Pun the Frugal Streamer, and I wanted to talk about Voice Mod. Now, Voice Mod uh, is a voice changing software. Uh, it's really geared toward gamers. And so anyway, I did a review when it first came out back oh, back in July, I think. And since then they've added a lot of neat changes to the program. So I wanted to kind of go over those again. And also since they came out with it, um, you know, I did a video on how to get it to work with Stream Deck. Well, since that happened, Elgato updated their Stream Deck software. And it broke how voice mod in, you know interface with it, but they have you know voice mod's been able to fix that, so now it's working again. But there is some little quirks that you need to know about if you're using Stream Deck. So I'm going to cover those two things in this video. So stay tuned. All right, so let me talk about some of these changes with voice mod. Uh, now, if you're not familiar with this. Again, this is voice changer program, free plan. Uh, you do get uh, a lot of functionality, but you get limited functionality. Like you're, you don't get full access to all these voices. Instead, what voice mod does is that it gives you a selection of these voices. I think six of them. Um, I think it's once a day they transfer over, they change. Okay. So you don't always get to set your own voices and keep them. Um, you will get a new set of voices every time. Uh, that is one of the downfalls. If you do the subscription base, then you get full access to everything. You can make all your favorite voices so that then you could use this for stream deck. Okay. One of the new things that they've added, which is really cool is you now have your own voices that you can make yourself. Um, and it's easy to do. It's simply going here. Let me switch over to the game PC here and going right to this area right here. And you can go and make your own voice mods, which is really cool. So you can see all the different layers of effects that you have. Uh, you got delay, which is really nice. Vocoder, wah wah, reverb, your pitch, double pitch that you'll use, flange. You have chorus, high pass, low pass, which is really nice. And then you've got a mix that you can use of voice volume and uh, intelligible, which is pretty cool. And then you can save these and then you can go and add your own images to them, which is really neat. Uh, so that's very nice. That's something that was not in the original version. All right, now this is another new thing that they've added, and this is where you can do sound drops. So you can add sound files in here uh, and do little sound drops, which, you know, is funny if you're going for the memes on your stream. So nice little funny, and they've even provided a place where you can go and actually get some yourself, uh, which is cool for download. I uh, know. So there's another thing that I wanted to show now for you voice meter people that use voice meter. Um, they've made it really easy now. So let me go in here real quick because um, I have this set up to default, right? So here is my microphones, which is uh, a microphone I'm currently testing for a, a review. And uh, then I, my output device, I'm sending straight to my headset. So this is the way that uh voice mod prefers you to set up the program, all right? But what that does is that then provides an output for your microphone that you can use for different programs, which is really nice. So let me show you that real quick because here you can go to sounds and you can go to recording and here you will see that you get a voice mod virtual audio device, which is really nice now. And you can make that your default record device. So this can be seen inside of voice meter. Uh, and you can set this uh, to a hardware input. Okay, one of your hardware channels. So your microphone channel that you would normally make, you can make it this voice mod virtual audio device. That way it's connected into voice meter and you get all your audio effects and then you can route them wherever you want to go, which is really nice. That was not available. I don't think in the first one. And it was kind of weird how you had to get it set up to go inside a voice meter. And that's, and it wasn't really a great way to do it, but they've made it a lot easier now. And you can do that using that virtual audio device, which is cool. All right. So uh, if you got any questions about this, it's really a neat program. Um, really easy to set up. Um, I, as I, you know, told you I have this set up inside a stream deck right here and it works great. I mean, you have all these effects and it's just a simple key bind that you can, let me open this up here, that you can go down to system and you use this little hot key and you click and drag it over into one of your spots there. 
and then you simply make it to match the keys uh binds that you use inside of voice mod and it works great as uh you know you can see here as i change it using baby and alien and cave and all that stuff so and you know it works good i like it a lot and so well, here's a couple little weird things that i found with this uh sometimes it can be a little finicky with stream deck so sometimes uh if the if you uh if the program is uh minimized and say your pc you know goes into sleep mode when you bring that back up this may not work with stream deck okay and what you're going to have to do I simply go in unset that here simply go into stream deck they bring it back up. Go into Stream Deck and just go to any one of the keys and just rebind your key. Okay, for that one. And then it'll and it'll relink it so that then everything will work. And and then from there you should be okay. Uh sometimes also your microphone will not work uh when you when it comes back up. Um, but if you were to hit a key on your stream deck or if you were to bring the program up. Um, it will kind of activate your microphone and your microphone will start working. That is kind of what I've experienced, uh, you know, when the my PC goes into sleep mode um, or it's been down for a while and I bring it back up. Um, so you may find that. And, yeah, it's a little bit of, anno of an annoyance, but uh, it's nothing big. And, um, you know, and I think it's more of a component of Windows than anything. But that's really it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and this little run through of some of the new features of Voice Mod. Um, like I said, there is a lifetime uh, license for it, uh, which let's see. Uh, I'm curious. Can we? I don't want to cancel. I was going to see if I can bring it up, but you can't. Well, that kind of stinks. I need to put a little link down here. Uh, voice mod people, put a link down here where you can go and change your subscription. Well, that would be great. Uh, but you got, there is a lifetime license, so you can do a one-time pay. You can do this one-year thing, and then uh, there might be a monthly, if I seem to remember, where you can do by month. But really, $20 for a year. I mean, come on. It's not that bad. And, of course, you could try the free one, and they're basically letting you do that. So you could try it out and see if you actually want to use it. Okay. Really simple. But go out there and give it a shot. I'll provide a link down in the description. And uh, you can go down there and try it for yourself. It doesn't cause a lot of any lag. It's not really uh, computer or P, uh, CPU intensive. Uh, and, you know, there's all kinds of ways that you can work it into all your different programs, which is really cool. All right. Including Discord, which uh, you would use that virtual audio, the voice mod virtual audio device for your uh, input instead of using your microphone okay so that is it guys thank you again i hope you enjoyed the video i hope to uh have a, another video out this week i uh, do remember this coming saturday i will be doing the uh, 12 hour live stream uh supporting uh extra life for kids with my t uh, stream team good for gaming and we'll be trying to raise money for our various children's hospitals my children's hospital I'll be raising money for is the children's hospital, King Daughters in our King's Daughters in um, Norfolk, Virginia, which is uh, the hospital for both of my kids. So go out there. I would uh, look, I'm, I would love for people to be able to drop as much money as they can, but I want people to know, that it, you know, come by the stream, say hi. Um, if you want to donate, please donate um, the donate chant or link at the bottom of my uh, page on my twitch channel sends you directly to my extra life fund and raising page so any donations you can go straight there you can watch the stream directly on my extra life channel and you can go there donate what you want I, any amount helps i normally don't ask for money and i definitely won't ask people to don donate to me but i am asking you to do this and if you donate you'll be helping to uh, get me to the different levels to where I can do this hot sauce challenge uh, that uh, ass kicking has uh, given me. And there's 12 different hot sauces that I can uh, have. And anyway, so you give money, it puts me in the uh, 
position to have to you you know uh, eat these hot sauces and show some pain on the stream, which I think a lot of people are looking forward to. Uh, last year's I did the same similar kind of thing where I had these mixed drinks that were various liquids and foods that were all grinded up together and mixed together, and it was just it was brutal for me, but people enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. And hey, we raise a lot of money doing it. So I'm hoping to do the same thing this year, but I'll be doing a hot sauce challenge instead. Okay. And the top sauce is Carolina Reaper. Okay. So anyway, that is it, guys. Have a great rest of your weekend. And we will see you later. Oh, yeah. By the way, be sure to like and subscribe, please. If you like it, hit the notifications. So more tutorials and uh, reviews coming out like this, you'll be the first to know. All right. And I do have a review. Coming out on this little guy right here. This is a microphone I'm using, okay? So, anyway, we will see you later. Bye-bye.